Yo, and uh, welcome to Cheap Beer Reviews. Um, I have a time of work again, very briefly, and then I'm back in. But I went shopping today and I found this. The Grande Reserve. It's um, the Rosini, which we before have experienced with the um, knockoff Barra Moretti. That was just a Barra Moretti, but a knockoff. This one has absolutely nothing on the back. It's a 3.9 units a bottle, which uh, is a good stretch because it's 5.9. And it's what I call a long bottle. 60, 660 milliliters. So um, all in all, we're in for a good start here. Let's have a go at it. So again, we got our, our three hops glass. So let's see, I expect it to be normal pills color and pour like a normal pills. Uh, I was right. It, it is a little bit more golden than a normal pills, I would say. It got a good color to it, I like the color. It's a um, nice golden color and it's it pours well as well. Put it next to the Audi. So, so as you can see, it's, uh, it, it's, it's pills like carbonated, uh, but it's fairly golden in color. Uh, I know nothing about it. I know it was one pound and twenty nine in where you can buy the lottery, so that'll be Aldi. And I bought the lottery. I bought set for life because that'll be ten grand a month. Which, if you can't live on ten grand a month, you're a fucking idiot. If you can't live on two grand a month, you'll still be an idiot. Uh, but but yeah, I just 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 in cage just to to try. But let's have this one. It's about beer, isn't it? It, um, there's not much to it actually. It's um, it's it's fairly fairly mellow. It's not um, it doesn't have any any substance that that are out of the ordinary. It's um, it might have a little little um, twist of what you will have in a in a in what you can get in Denmark the classics the like the Tuberg classics or the the slot classics or the the tour classics that the classic beers a little bit of a um, old classic taste I don't know what to call that it's it's a taste where you some of the 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 taste of the beer is like most I think it must be mostly the um, the barley taste is a bit more pronounced than it would be in a normal pills and that that's all I'm getting from it really it is it's it's uh, It's just uh, as a grand reserve, Malto da Oroso, 100% Italiano. It, it's, I don't know, like, like the only thing Italian I know stuff about it is, is cars and, and, and bikes. And, 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 and you can say a lot of it, but they're all, they're all like, it's, it's a driver's car or it's a rider's bike and, and, and service intervals are horrible and, and the electrics are shit and, and they rust harder than pure pig iron in the sea would but but other than that it, it's just this is just I, I, I must say I'll, I'll have some more of these because you're you can't go wrong with 5.9 percent you really can't and it's just an easy drink it just goes down really smooth um which which is both good and a bit of a shame because I would have, I was hoping that this one would have been a bit extra of the normal Rosin beers or a normal it, this is this is a, if this had been made in the UK this would have been a, a stronger foster. Well, that that's kind of a conundrum there, but yeah, let's say a a, a Fosters that was a bit stronger that that would have been that one or a what else do do we have of terrible bloody beers around here we got oh yes we got the carling imagine that a carling that you could get drunk off um it's i won't even go there that, that that's just bad but no it's um it, it has no significance to it it's just stronger and it's um it's it's, it's an easy drink
you could happily be sat at some party or some uh, uh, barbecue somewhere and then just making eight of these you would get a bit of gas a bit of uh, a bit of burping and stuff but you wouldn't feel filled you wouldn't feel well i had enough of beer you you would probably stumble around a little bit when you when you stood up but you wouldn't be you wouldn't be be beard out as you can be on a on a an IPA or a a a, um, a a bitter or 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 what have you. It, it wouldn't. This beer would. Ne you could drink as. You would. You would pass out before. You would get over beer than this. If I'm probably the only one who understands what I'm saying right now, but let me explain. Some it, it's I'll call it the um, for a comparison the cheesecake conundrum. You have a slice of cheesecake and it's absolutely lovely. I, I like cheese personally. I like cheesecake. So you eat the cheesecake and you think, yeah, I can have another slice of that bad boy. So you get another slice of that bad boy and and then you're like halfway through and you start starting to struggle a bit because oh, you're nearly cheesecake. Out there. like oh, that's a lot of cheesecake. That's what you get with some beers. Um, that's definitely not what you get with this. So to to finish this off, we'll go on a pill scale. And the only reason why I'm getting them that 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 score today is because I'm wearing a pair of them. Uh, it'll get a five oh one, like. The Levi's jeans. Um, it's a 501 on, on the scale. Um, no science, no math, no nothing. Just pure 5.01. So yeah, if you want a, a fairly strong beer that's easy to drink, that won't beer you out if you're going to drink that all night. Um, I normally don't do that. I, I normally I, I get different beers throughout the night. So let's say tonight I will drink 10 beers, then I get seven, maybe six different beers, a four pack of something and then something random in between because then you'll never you'll never get get too bored of, of the same thing. Um, it'll, it'll, I don't know, what it'll, it'll probably be like being on a track day where you only got left hand turns. Um, it, it would just get boring in, in the long run. But yeah, 5.01 for this bad boy. I'll, I'll recommend it if you just if you just want the, want, the, want the beer. And it is called the Grand Reserva, which is like the Grand Reserva. So I don't know, I don't want to speak Italian. Anyway, that will be it for now. Hope you're going to have a good one. And uh, I'll do another beer review next time I'm not at work. Alright, I'll be off now. Ta-ta!